Okay, we're rolling. Um, theorem 541, prove that any given positive integer n has a unique representation in the form of a number times a power of 2 plus a number times a smaller power of 2 all the way down to 4 times 2 times 1. And r is a non-negative integer. C of r equals 1 or 0 for each of these. So this is really the binary representation of the number uh, binary representation of n. And we're also saying that this is unique. So there's actually there's actually two things here. There's um, there's existence and there's uniqueness. And those are actually things that are better proven separately, existence and uniqueness. Now let's do, let's do existence. Let's start with existence and then we'll follow up by uniqueness. <coughs> um, for existence, I'll use strong induction, existence. And my statement, P of n, is going to be the statement um, n has such a representation. Represent, represent, representation. Okay, here we go. Um, and that's how it's written. Each of the, the bits is one or zero. The first one has to be a one. And we have decreasing powers of two. We'll be, we'll be using strong induction And let's forget about the base case. I and mean, if you want a base case, you could say that uh, p of 1, um, 1 in base 2 is, is 1. Uh, 1 base 10 is 1 base 2. If we want another base case, 2 base 10 is 1, 0 base 2. So this is 1 times 2 to the 0. Over here, this is 1 times 2 to the 1 plus 0 times 2 to the 0, and so on. So you could just start writing out the binary representation for any of these numbers. Uh, but let's do the induction step. And of course, it's going to be a strong induction step. So we're going to assume that p of 1, p of 2, all the way up to p of k are true. <clears throat> that just means that every number from 1 to k has a binary representation and we'd like to conclude we'd like to conclude um, that p of k plus 1 is true as well okay so that's that's what we need to do and it's not going to be hard um, we're going to assume that every number less than k plus 1 has a binary representation and we'll prove that k plus 1 also has a binary representation. So here we go. Um, and I'm going to write this in two cases. Uh, let's call them case even. And the other will be case odd. Um, k plus 1 is even. So k plus 1 is 2 times q. And that's some integer q. And I'd like to note that uh, q is at least 1, and it's less than k plus 1. So p of q is true. Okay. Why is that? Well, <clears throat> maybe I could go into more detail, but if k plus 1 is twice, k that, twice q, then q must be less than k plus 1, and q is also going to be um, at least one. Um, so p of q is true. That means that q does equal cr2 to the r plus cr minus 1, 2 to the r minus 1, plus all the way down to c1, 2 to the 1, plus c0 for some 
binary digits CR down to C0, and those are the powers of 2. But now when we um, multiply by 2, uh, 2Q, uh, which by the way is K plus 1, that's K plus 1, that is, that's going to equal CR 2 to the R plus 1, plus CR minus 1, 2 to the R, because we're multiplying everything by 2. I could multiply 2 to the R times 2 to get 2 to the R plus 1, and so on. And C1, 2 squared, plus C0 times 2 to the 1, plus a 0 times C, uh, well, times 2 to the 0. And so all of these, uh, this is a binary representation, a binary representation for k plus 1. So in the case where k plus 1 is even, um, we're set, and we should look at the next case. Let's call this um, case odd. Um, k plus 1 is odd. Now the definition of odd means that k plus 1 is 2q plus 1 for some integer q. For some integer q. Uh, that means that, um, well, let's um, see if we can do this. q is less than um, k plus 1. If k plus 1 is 2q plus 1, then k is 2q. That means that k is bigger than q, but k is odd. So k plus 1 will be, will be even bigger. And we can assume that q is, well, q is, q might actually be 0. Maybe that's a special case. Yeah, so let's um, let's have a special case. Uh, case q equals zero. Then k plus one is um, k plus one is one, which is um, which is one in base two. So let's forget about that. But suppose otherwise, um, otherwise. Um, P of Q is true, so Q is C R 2 to the R plus C R minus 1, 2 to the R minus 1, all the way down to C um, 1 times 2 plus C 0. And with this, um, let's build up K plus 1. Actually, this just means that K is um, well, k plus 1 is 2q plus 1, so we, what we want to do is um, write k plus 1 is going to be 2 times this whole thing that shifts everything over, and then we'll add 1. So it's going to be cr times 2 to the r plus 1, plus cr minus 1 times 2 to the r minus 1 times 2, which is 2 to the r. And then we keep multiplying these, shifting them over, and we get to c1. 2 squared plus c0 times 2 to the 1 and we've multiplied q by 2 and now we have to add 1 we'll just add it there and this is a, a binary representation of k plus 1 so p of uh, k plus 1 is true okay. um, and what we have there is, is really a strong induction argument that a binary representation does exist, but we want to go further and show that the binary representation is unique, um, <clears throat> that there's only one binary representation. Let's do that in another video.